It's time for Taste Appeal. So in the spirit of Columbus Day, because as you know, Christopher Columbus, he was Italian. We're making so many Italian dishes and we have enough to feed uh, a whole fleet of people on a ship. <laughs> we do. We're making so many dishes. Joining us to cook all these delicious dishes is Michael Tesoro. He's the owner of Uma, Uma Tesoro's. And it's nice to have you back. Thank you. We're Thanks. Making a Great quite, to be here. Quite an uh, array of things. A potpourri today. of dishes today. Well, here in Western New England, what do you think of when you think of fall? Squash, squash, squash pumpkin, pumpkins, mm -hmm. foliage. Got, exactly. And um, so I brought some beautiful squashes uh, today. Butternut squash, of course. That's the old standby. The old standby. It's really um, a winter squash. So butternut squash is a great squash to buy now and put in a cool, dry spot in your house and have it in November, December, January, wow. possibly even February. So butternut squash was a great squash for the winter. It's known as a winter squash. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot of longevity. It gets sweeter over time. And um, it just improves. Is it something that you could actually cut up and then freeze too? You could also do that. You could also do that. But I would highly suggest that it continues to ripe, ripen while sitting on your countertop. Interesting. Okay. So long too, huh? Buy when it's on sale and then save it for a rainy day. Right. But we the squash that we're dealing with today, yeah. the delicata squash, this is something. So the delicata squash is the most underappreciated squash in the world. Now, while squashes tend to grow really well here in Western New England, squashes actually grow all over the world. South America, Africa, Asia, Europe. This delicata squash is the most underappreciated one. Uh, many people think it's a gourd, but it's actually a very delicious squash. And it's a little bit of a conflicted squash because many people call it a winter squash. Yeah. But it's actually part of the summer squash family. So it's actually part of um, the zucchini family. Well, it's got that color yeah. of a, a summer squash and zucchini all in one. Yeah, so it's a good one because it's so delicate, delicata. Um, it has beautiful, beautiful orange, yellow meat right there and tons of seeds. Remember what I said about seeds. The more seeds in your fruit and vegetables, the better. So the better, right. Um, so we're going to so scrape scoop this. You scoop this out. Now this is really, um, use a spoon. I find a spoon is almost better than a knife in taking out the seeds. And you just want to get all the seeds out. And there you're you doing go. it over the trash on the over, floor. He's doing it over the trash. What you can't floor. see. Yeah, yeah, there's a trash can. Back <laughs> we're here. trying to keep it somewhat clean in the kitchen. So there you go. It's just like a boat. Nice job. It is. It's like a little canoe. And a, a big spoon like this is a great way to, to, to do it. Now, the other interesting thing is this doesn't require a lot of uh, slicing and dicing. You want to cut once, and that's it. Oh, and all right. Fine by me. Basically, what you're, what you're going to be doing is taking all the delicata pieces like this and placing them, take the seeds out of all of them, mm -hmm. cut them in half, cut them in half like this, literally add, this is heavy cream, just add a little bit of heavy cream to the top. And you want to go very easy on the black pepper. Now what is the heavy cream? Does it just make it a more creamy? It makes it a wonderful cream sauce. It, it adds enough moisture that it cooks it and adds a creamy flavor to it. Mm. You want to you want to go a little heavier, not too heavy, but a little heavier on the salt, not so heavy on the uh, on the black pepper. And then what else better than a little nutmeg? Use nutmeg. It's so beautiful and I mean, it smells. Oh, it smells this. amazing. Um, use it, oh, it smell extremely good. sparingly. OK, um, so. I always like to use whole nutmeg rather than the already chopped and do mm -hmm. your own little. And I bet uh, one nut is probably going to last you a long time. Oh, it's going to last forever. You can see some of these here I've had for quite a while. But just just a little tiny bit. Don't a lot of people overdo the nutmeg and uh, you know, your kids or your relatives start complaining that it tastes a little strange, a little mm. too too So heavy. you can always add more. Later. Always now, is more. this going to be of more flavor than the powdered nutmeg that you would get in a, a container? A lot more. Okay. A lot more intense. Yeah. Now, last but not least. Oh, can't forget that step. So, Parmesan we're going to add a little freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano to the top. 
And then I we're going to pop little... it in the oven. And for how long is it going to be in the oven so, and at what temperature? Yeah, so everybody's oven is always a little different. But I'd say 35 minutes mm -hmm. at least. Mm -hmm. now, um, keep watch, keep watch on it. And what you're looking for is, and the, the other reason why we're cutting this just in half is we actually want it to cook unevenly. Interesting. Yeah. So to get different consistencies. Different when you consistencies, need it? Huh. and it keeps the meat on the bottom to um, to 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 hold together a little better, and the the more cooked and browned version of the outside Ooh. of the well, of the squash adds a lot of. We're going to keep everyone watching because mm -hmm. we have some ready in the oven, but right. you won't see it. We're going to be back so later. Now. Great. We're going to be making to taste it as well. pasta and meat sauce. Yes. And then we're also going to be making this delicious late night snack. So when you come home yeah. from the movies later and you're a little tired, you can try it.